Hello and welcome to From Design to Hugo Part 2. In this part, we will start coding the common components like header and footer. But first, uh, I would like to initialize Git to do version controlling. So let's go to the, our terminal. Currently, we don't have Git, so to initialize Git, I will just type Git in it. And it's initialized a empty git repository, okay? But I already have a repository for my website. So I want to connect that as a remote. So I'm going to my repository and copying the SSH path. And then inside the terminal, git remote add and the URL of that remote. Uh, and I'm adding as origin. Yeah, I should give it a name git add origin and the URL and it's added so I don't want to lose the current version of my site so I will be working on a new branch called uh, v2 so I have to create that git checkout dash b and v2 you create a new branch and switch to that this command does that and now I can commit what I did uh, version 2 first commit alright I committed what I did so okay uh, now we can start by importing the fonts because fonts uh, are important and I have two different fonts in the site first one is uh, this guy more old school looking is Prata and the second one is Inter so we can use Google Fonts for it. So I'm going to Google Fonts and search for the Inter. And I'm not gonna include that to, or we can. All right, uh, I want the tin. light sorry i don't need the tin light regular medium bold maybe and semi bold yeah also if we want you can add the black as well all right now copy that go to our codes let's open up the tmax uh, we are gonna add that to our head so our head in side partials common and head I can edit before our CSS oops it's not here copy it correctly okay also, we can add uh, the Prata font. Search for it. I think it's only have regular. Yeah. Also add that. So, hmm, I can just do it with only one include. Okay, I will update the last one. Uh, let's check it. Enter family Prata. Okay, cool. Now we have two fonts. All right. Uh, we have everything ready to start. So I will start with the header because it's does not require too much for now. Let's go to the layout, partials, and common. I will start with the HTML at first. We're gonna have a header. So what else we're gonna have? We'll have a header that contains a logo, but I will do that with HTML, not a image. And we're gonna have a now bar. So having a internal com container is can be cool. We will have the logo. We will have the navigation. So I'm going to name header as header, uh, header container, 
header logo header now all right inside the logo uh you're gonna have a text so let's make it with deal wait you can just give it like that and i should rename it as anchor tag because it will be a link give it a blank href or with slash yeah for the navigation we also gonna have anchor tags with ref and a class header now item We're gonna have home uh, I think bloke and contact oh also about all right okay um let's run the higo on the side uh, it's launched all right <laughs> it's looking good so what else we gonna need for the HTML? I'm just thinking. Uh, looks like we don't need much more uh, stuff on the HTML. So we can move on to the CSS. But before moving on it, I will start my SAS watcher at the background. Uh, let's go to assets, SCSS, oops, SCSS, partials, common header. We have header class, so open it up. Uh, inside header, I'm not going to put anything. Yeah, we're gonna have header container to limit the size of it, and we're gonna have header logo and a header navigation. Um, for the container, I don't know the max width, but we can give it. Uh, I don't know. maybe 100 oops uh, max width 140 pixel is good for the start i think uh, we will do the containers later on because we're gonna use containers uh, on pretty everywhere so i want to create a general con uh, container to use it on all the places to reduce the code repetition we're gonna center it with margin uh, top bottom zero center left and right okay uh, yeah and give it a width with hundreds use all the width you can mm, for the logo we have 150 and 150 width and for the height as well We're gonna have a background color. This guy. All right, and we have a think. What color is that? Okay. For the texts, that one, and what the font size? It's 30 pixel. Okay, uh, due to font size, 30 pixel. Okay, it's looking delicious. <laughs> um, by the way, I don't like that uh, underline on the a tags, so I can create a global main CSS yeah uh, maybe we can have globals CSS and import it import it after the variables import globals CSS and go to there text decoration 
None. With that, we can remove the underlying text on the all anchor text. That's cool. All right, let's go back to header. Mm, make our container flex. I'm gonna use flexbox and justify content space between. Yay. Uh, we have a little bit padding, I guess. Yeah, uh, on the HTML or body. <coughs> we have padding on the body, so let's update that. Let's remove padding and margin. If there is, uh, let's go back to header. All right, it's looking fine now. Uh, we're gonna have a hundred and twenty of height for the header. And I want this guy to use all the height. Okay, and have the split flex. Also, we need align items center. I want them centered. This guy is not gonna uh, be working with us because it's uh, bigger than the initial height. So I have to work with that to um, fix it. It's, I think, align self. And flex start, maybe. Not sure. Yeah. Okay. Also, make the logo a display flex. And align items center. Justify content center. Hmm. Looks like it has full width. No, it's not. Maybe we can also give it a text align center. Yeah. Okay, give it a text align center. Okay, uh, oh yeah, and I want to use the font Prata for it. Font family uh, Prata. I hope it will work. Yay, it's working. Uh, maybe we can now move on to our navigation. Uh, they have 24 font size, okay. Header now, it will be also a display flex. We're gonna use a lot of flex t uh, today. Let's do some CSS magic. Uh, font size 24 pixel. Font family. Uh, enter. On weight regular, okay. I'm not gonna touching that color, white, and yeah, it will be not visible. My bad. Uh, let's make it black for now. Okay, and we need a gap for each other. Twenty five is okay. Uh, gap twenty five pixels. Alright, uh, it's looking cool. Now, uh, I think the header is enough for now. We can move on to the footer. Uh, I'm not going to too in depth for each component because we currently need a, a base project and then do the details after that. Mm. Let's go to the HTML of the footer. It's in the common. 
open the food attack. Inside we're gonna have also food container as well. Uh, inside the footer container, you're gonna have a copyright text and a footer navigation. So let's make it a paragraph. Footer copyrights and a for uh, better usability. I'm not making uh, the navigation a nav tag. I'm not sure if the robots uh, think it's the main navigation so i'm going to use uh plain div footer now and the footer links with anchor tags log right log privacy about privacy and about let's add them um, do some vim magic sorry uh Oops. How are we gonna do that? Uh, with that way. No, it's not working. Alright. Don't do that. Uh, href. Okay. Uh, oops, I closed the Figma. We have our links. Alright. Oh, yeah. Give the footer a footer class, and I think it's enough for the footer. So, sorry, uh, footer HTML. Now we can go to the footer CSS. That footer, that footer container, that footer copyrights, copyrights, that footer navigation. And each navigation, sorry, navigation gonna have a item, I guess. But we didn't edit the class to items, yeah. Okay, uh, let's go to the CSS again. Uh, the footer is gonna have a height. What's the height? Um, it's loading. The height of the footer is 250. But let's just not give it a height. I maybe in the future I will add more links. I don't want it to be um, constant. So just give it a background color. It's uh, good old black, okay. And for the container, give it a max width, uh, width and center width, with margin again, like the header container. That's why I want to create a general container uh, class. Okay. It will be a display flex and a line items center. Justify content space with me. Uh, for the fo footer copyrights, uh, we're gonna use inter 24 white. Okay, font size 24 pixel. Font family is going to be inter. And the color going to be white okay it's not visible you're gonna see that uh, okay for the footer navigation it's also be display flex but flex direction should be column and yeah for items, we're gonna have a font size. It is 24 again. The same stuff with the copyright. Uh, 
Okay, they are visible, but the paragraph is not visible. Oh, because we don't have a paragraph. Okay, I copy the text. Okay, yeah, now we have it. But I don't like the uh, look of it, so give it a min height. Make it minimum 250. Two and a half fifty pixels. And also uh, the container should be using all the space height it has. It's not using it. Hmm. If you have that, but you don't have it. I don't know why it's not working that way. Hmm. Let me refresh that. No, it's not doing that. So maybe we should give it a height of 250 pixels. Oh, sorry. No. Wait. Min height. Uh, I'm trying. No, okay. Uh, I will update it like that. 250 pixels and min height. Okay, it's better now. Cool. But uh, the navigation guys should be uh, aligned to right. What we can do, we can come here and align items, flex and, okay, they are go to the right, what's the gap between them, 18, okay, now, yeah, that's looking fine, all right, we have our header and a folder. What else are we gonna need to do? Maybe we can just start doing the welcome section. Uh, this place to, you know, have something uh, at the beginning. So I'm going to do. Do we have welcome component? No. Let's create it. Welcome, Hishno. And give it a make it a section. And the section should be um, welcome or home welcome. I don't know. Let's call it welcome. It's gonna have a container as well. Inside the container, we're gonna have a. Uh, header, ta uh, title, paragraph, and a button. So H1 may be okay. A paragraph and the anchor button. I call discover as I remember. Yeah. Let's copy the text. Text again. Okay. Add a class. Welcome title class welcome paragraph para graph yeah and welcome button it's okay i guess okay we have read uh, everything ready i think no we just need a filter and the image at the background so let's draw around the image mm, that one I think export, export image too. Okay, now I need to edit. Let's open it up in the file manager. Uh, image two, all right. Yeah, let's give it a name uh, called 
welcome image. Wait, uh, looks like it does not have a filter. Let's find out. Uh, add our image, src slash image slash welcome image png. This is not with us because I didn't uh, imported our partial into the home HTML, right? Yeah. Add our partial uh, home slash welcome HTML. Yay. Looks like, yeah, we have it. But we need a darker background. So go to the welcome HTML. Remove that div. We don't need that. Class welcome cover right let's go to the css we don't have welcome css create that oops um but welcome welcome container uh welcome what we have title so welcome paragraph uh, welcome cover uh, and welcome button all right uh, you know for the container max width 140 pixels center it give it a flex box and uh, also makes height hundreds and uh, for the flex center items justify content center okay how this looks like it's not changed because we didn't include our welcome to the main partials home Welcome. Yay. Uh, yeah. I should make this guy absolute. Oops. Uh, okay. Go to the welcome. Position. Absolute. Left zero, top zero. Make its width hundreds, heights hundreds, objects fit cover for, you know, do not damaging the image uh, orientation. Welcome uh, section height should be hundred vertical height. That means the full height of the screen. We have error. Top zero. Expected what? Um, we did something wrong. Oh yeah, we forget the symbol. Okay, this looks like fine. But that's not centered. I think because the uh, header, yeah. What's the header height? 120. Okay, let's go to the variables and create a sizes section. And sizes. Store our sizes in here. Size, header, height. 120 pixel. Go to the <coughs> welcome and do a simple math. Calc. Sorry, calc, yeah. <coughs> and minus size header heights. It should fix it. Yeah, it's fixed. It's on the center. The change the flex direction to column. Cool. Now we can work on the font sizes. 
uh, the title 60 pixel enter 60 pixel on family enter the color should be white also by the way make the background welcome black to make it easy to see yay okay mm. the paragraph should be 28 and it's intel as well inter as well also white and it's light font weight yeah uh, lighter it's gonna work no wait oh by the way the image is uh, in front of the text so i cannot select the text we have to give it a z index so give the cover a z index of zero and give the text a one or the whole container yeah z index one Hmm. And give it position relative. Let me check that. Oh, okay. I see. Make it position relative. Okay, now it's working. And um, for the button, we're gonna have enter 24. Uh, font size 24 pixel on family, enter color white, and um, uh, give it a border, right border how much pixel is that two yeah border two pixels solid white okay and give it some padding sixteen forty padding sixteen pixel from top to bottom or the pixel from left to right it's enough I guess yay and I want a cursor when I hover over, over it so I'll give it a cursor pointer now it hovers but I don't like the spacing there's a too much space on here what's the gap between them? 20 okay which guy is taking too much space on there Hmm, you both. Okay. That means I have to go to the globals. Remove the all the padding margin. From body H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6 in the paragraph. That yay. I will uh, wait. Yeah, I will give them a gap of twenty pixel. But I will also add a more gap from the paragraph to the button, like to thirty. Yeah, margin bottom thirty pixel. With that, I can get what I wanted. Yay! Okay. Uh, but it's not centered because of the header heights. 
So how we can center it? We have to remove the space from top. Remove the header height of space from the top. How can we do that? Uh, we can go to the there. I'm thinking. Um, hmm, maybe on the container. Um, to fix the height, maybe we should not center them. I think uh, give it a full height, but do not write justify contents. Yay! But um, hmm, okay, hundred and fifty-six. Give the spacing on there with the margin top for the title. Hundred and fifty-six pixels. Yeah, it is now much looking to design. Also, uh, we have a problem on there. What was the issue? It is exceeding that, but the Z index, the Z index is uh, blocking it. So, I think we make it. Yay. Okay, let's go to the header to fix the issue. Make it position relative to use uh, that index and make it 99. It can be higher, yeah. And also uh, make it background color. background color uh, of black but no just remove that uh, it looks like continuing on there so what we can do is adding a div no just 81 opacity okay um, we can do that background color 0 0 0 0 0 0 and if I remember 81 it's gonna do what I wanted it did but not as I expected Okay, we can use RGBA. But I don't remember the color. <laughs> Let's go back there. Zero 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 point eight one, okay. Zero 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 point eighty one. There's a slight difference. But we can fix it later. So go back to the header now and change the item's color to white. Yeah, I'll fix that issue because on the other pages it should change to white, right? It should be transparent. And the text should change uh, with the background. So we will work on that. So I'm leaving it for now. Yay! Okay. We did a lot of stuff uh, for this part and the video is getting longer. We can continue on the next part, okay? Thanks for watching, see you next time.